Silicone nitride appears to have a lot of the qualities that you would want for clinical success. It is strong, it is wear resistant. High strength, high reliability, wear resistance. We see good bony ingrowth, patients feel very good. The surgeries went smooth, the healing went smooth. It is stronger than any ceramic that we've ever used in orthopedics. It has the advantages of surface chemistry, the ability to have bone attached to it, and a similar chemistry and, and an atomic number to bone. Silicon nitride is widely recognized for its exceptional strength in key NASA shuttle components, jet engines, and body armor. Because it's made from elements already in the human body, scientists believe it would make a more compatible human implant material than peak polymer or metal. Several of the world's top ceramists spent years proving this theory. Today, their efforts have paid off. Ceramics give you the opportunity to provide a material with high strength, high reliability, wear resistance, the ability to have artifact-free imaging, and the ability to bond to bone uniquely combined in one single material. So when we first started talking about silicon nitride, what was very unique about this substance was that you could make it into a porous structure that bone could grow right into, or you could make it into an, a very smooth structure that could be a bearing surface with virtually no wear. And the same substance could be both sides of that. You could have bony ingrowth on one side and no wear on the other side of an articulating spacer. And that was what sort of started our excitement about this. And from that sort of genesis, we realized we could create fusion products, products that we use not that need a bearing surface, but need two bony ingrowth surfaces, so that we could use that material to create what we don't have with the other materials today. That is, a strong structural support yet perfectly formed to allow bone to grow right into and through it. Silicone nitride is a new material that we've been working on for over 12 years. Uh, it has a long history in uh, manufacturing, but just not in the medical device uh, arena. Uh, it is lightweight, it is stronger than any ceramic that we've ever used in orthopedics, and I think it will be a life-changing uh, material when we use it in hip replacement. But we also see in the future that this has, uh, could have great application in reconstructive uh, surgery for hips and knees and other areas where, again, biocompatibility and strength, uh, surface finish and toughness are important elements uh, for those particular medical devices. I have patients now that are over a year out and I've had excellent results. We see good bony ingrowth, patients feel very good. The surgeries went smooth, the healing went smooth, the radiographic interpretation of how they are a year later is exactly as we would want them with progressive bony fusion, no loosening, and a solid clinical outcome. From bone to metal to plastic, and now silicon nitride, the evolution is complete, but the possibilities are endless. Amedica, rethink what's possible in spine and reconstructive surgery.